Creating a blog in 2024 isn't as simple as just putting up a WordPress site and cre writing some content and then expecting people to actually come and see it. There's so many more little elements that are actually needed now today more than ever when it comes to creating a, su a successful blog. So in this video, that's what we're going to do. We're going to look at something that seems to be all the rage at the moment, which are called SEO entities or entities. And we're going to look at how we can find entities for our content and actually integrate them into our content as well. So integrate them into new content and also integrate them into old content that we should have put in before. Now, in its simplest terms, when it comes to blog content and when it comes to writing, here's how Google thinks, okay? Google thinks, let's say somebody starts a blog on blogging, okay? So like what I have, Google automatically thinks that if I'm an expert, I'm going to be writing in a certain way. So the content that I write is going to include all the relative or the, the, yeah, the, the relative keywords for that topic that I'm an expert actually in. Now, if I tend to leave out some of those keywords, then Google's going to look at me and kind of go, well, this person isn't speaking in the exact language of the expert. So they start to kind of make notes about this on you and about your website. And those notes that they build up in their database of understanding of you are, they're either going to bring your website up or they're going to bring your website down. Okay. So what we need to actually do is we need to understand what is it? What words, what entities, words are entities. Okay. What, what are these words that Google wants to see on our website? And once we know this, then we can actually start integrating them into our text. When we're writing, we can learn about them as well before we start writing. So then that they become natural in our, our communication. Okay. You most likely already know these, but you don't know how important they are. So we're going to be utilizing Google Bard for this. And you have a Google Bard sheet here. It's called SEO entities with Google Bard. And I'll just read what it says here. Entities are all the rage at the moment and with good reason. They're crucial for your blog SEO strategy, helping you provide more context to the search engine, indexing bots, making your site content more relevant to your chosen niche. Okay. And if you haven't signed up already, guys, there is the blog profit path. That is my paid training that you can go and check out. It's, uh, it's being updated constantly throughout the year. And I think you'll really, really enjoy it. So with that said, let's get into this. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to identify relevant entities that, um, that you need to have on your website. Okay. So I've got a, a brief introduction of the elements and then I've got the prompt that you need. Okay. So identify relevant entities, analyze user search queries and identify the entities that are frequently associated with your target topics. Okay. So first thing we're going to do, we're going to copy that and we're going to come back over to Bard and we're just going to type in my main keyword here, which is blogging for beginners. Okay. Based on my keyword blogging for beginners, can you identify the top five most relevant entities that are frequently associated with this topic? Okay. And what Bard is actually going to do is it's going to search its repository of information related to entities and seed sites associated with your niche. And it's going to be able to actually do this. Okay. So first, what it's going to do based on the keyword blogging for beginners, here are the five most relevant, relevant entities frequently associated with the topic. We got platforms, content and strategy. Then you've got all the elements inside of here. You've got promotion engagement, basically your social media. You've got monetization and growth. And then you've got resources and inspiration. Okay. So blogging communities, forums, all these kind of things. Okay. So what we're doing is when we get this information, we're then going to be able to insert it into our content. That's going to become part of our language that we're creating our content with. Okay. Let's go back to the next one. Okay. So what we want to do is we want to actually integrate entities into our content. So strategically incorporate entity mentions and descriptions into your website content. This includes using entity markups such as schema or to provide additional context to search engines. We're not going to do that at the moment. Okay. We're just going to look at the integrating of the keywords. Okay. So based on my keyword, and we're just going to put blogging for beginners. Please note all the entities that the top five websites on Google include and make a special note of what essential entities they have not included. So what we're doing now is we're looking 
at our keywords that we're looking to rank for and we're looking to see what our competition who are positioned in position one two three four and five actually use actually utilize now if we start to understand what they utilize that's going to be a hell of a long way to helping us be as good as what they are okay now we ask it to show us what they're excluding as well that we can add to be more relevant or and more contextually relevant to the searches that are being made as well. So again, we ask Bard this, and Bard is gonna pull out the information here for us. And as you can see here, I analyzed the top five websites on Google for the search query blogging for beginners. Here are the entities I found mentioned in these websites related to blogging for beginners. Then we got blogging platforms, blogging platforms, and then here are additional entities mentioned. And then here we are entities not commonly mentioned. Okay, so then you got your legal and ethical considerations, your security, your time commitment. Okay, so what it's basically done is it's gone and it's looked at these and it's gone or it's looked at the search term, it's looked at the top five websites, and it's actually gone, hey, look, this is what's there. Here are some additional ones, and also here are ones basically that you should be including in the content to be more contextually relevant and to make sure that you're your content appears higher in the search engines. Okay, so the next one that we got to do is based on my article entities, please strategically place these into my article, ensuring that they match, match the five best positions. Okay, so what we do here is we're just going to grab content from our website. Okay, an article that we've done. We're going to press enter. Okay, and as you can see here, so it's going to look at the overall structure. Then it's going to look at specific entity placements within the content that we've created. Like, this is just lovely. This is telling you exactly what you need to do to make your content so much better. Okay, so make sure you're going through and utilizing these. Okay, so the next one, you want to link to authoritative resources. Okay, this is beautiful as well. This is, I, I absolutely love this one. Okay, so you make a list of the top five reputable websites that provide comprehensive coverage of related entities. Okay. And then we're just going to go blogging for, and one of the things that Google loves to see is that you're, you're linking out, you're externally linking out to reputable websites, resourceful websites for people to actually visit within your content. Now, the better you can actually do of this, the better Google are going to mark you a tick spot on your, your list of ranking factors. Okay. So Google's going to do it here. All right. And what it's done is first one, copy blogger. Next one, blogging your passion. Next one, pro, pro blogger, HubSpot blog and social media examiner. Okay. So I would go through and I would make sure like, here's the thing. Sometimes Bard and AI messes up. Okay. So you've got to, you, you take this information as 98% correct. Okay. And then do your 2% extra in there. All right, so there you go. That's how you're gonna utilize Google Bard entities for 2024 to make your blog really rise up the search engines. My name's been Kieran Doyle. This is the Blank Page Business. If you've enjoyed this, please leave me a comment and a like. And if you're new here, please subscribe. So I'll speak to you soon, guys. Thanks very much.